guys welcome back real mccoy 411 i have had two days out of this and i feel like it's time to re-moisturize and this time i'm going to introduce to you guys the virgin hair fertilizer now i'm going to use this on my scalp may put a little on my hair but mainly on my scalp just like if you were greasing your scalp okay um, but I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Lavender Stimulating Growth System with leave-in conditioner because, and this is an intense moisturizing leave-in cream. So I'm going to be using this as my leave-in because I'm doing the LCO method and I'm also going to be using more of my melanin as my, uh, cream and this is going to be considered my oil, Okay. So what I'm going to do is dampen my hair, and this is warm water because I have low porosity hair and I'm not extremely making my hair wet. I am just making it damp. And then I'm going to go in in sections and work, work, look, and work. I'm going to go in in sections and work each section. So I already have a little of that grease in here. I call it grease because it's grease. That's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and apply it first. I hope the information that I'm giving you all in this video is helpful to you guys. All of it may not be helpful, but the key is to get the parts out that can be helpful to you. Everything doesn't work for everybody. Keep that in mind. Everything does not work for everybody. So you go to a channel and you're like, I'm going to do it exactly the way this person did it. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Find out their, their, their porosity. Find out their density. Find out their, um, this is the leave-in. Find out their uh, pattern, their curl pattern and all that stuff, find all that out before you go and copy their style down to a T. Learn about your hair before you go and copy someone else's style down to a T. I definitely think I could get a wash and go out of this, guys. I really do. I told y'all I was going to try 16 things with that 16 ounces of melon. Um, let me recap. LCO method which was a little out of order. But my leave-in was my Camille Rose Whipped Lavender. My cream was the Melanin Twist Defining Elongating Cream. By Whitney Natcha 85. And my oil that I used was my virgin fertilizer that I used on my scalp. And I will be using the virgin fertilizer on my scalp on wash days and on co wash days. Okay? 
So, that pretty much is the end of this video. I hope I was able to give you guys some information. Um, I hope you liked the last video. I know it was a killer combo. I know it was a killer combo. And I'm going to be working on some more killer combos. So, y'all so stay tuned just so I can show you the finished product. Okay? Alright, guys. Moisture Day is complete. And I wanted to go over just a couple of things. Not going to hold you long. Because when I come back, it's going to be the takedown of my three strand twist and as you can see I did add perm rods in there just to give it that extra curl make it last longer okay but the melanin you already know it can be used in a lot of different ways and on here it says use with your favorite leave-in conditioner so it can be used um, not just for it can be used just to moisturize your hair. Does that make sense? Okay, because a lot of people only use leave-ins when they have washed their hair. And I'm going to read something to you on here real short. It's just said, upon washing and cleansing hair, always use a leave-in conditioner, applying evenly from root to tip. May also be used to refresh styles on dry hair in need of moisture so that's why I use the leave-in instead of just using a liquid I was moisturizing my hair and I wanted to make sure I get that extra moisture in there so that's why I use the LCO method okay so I want to touch base on the virgin hair fertilizer we all know that your hair, there's nothing out there that can grow your hair or turn you into Rapunzel the next day. There's just not. But if you can do some things to help your hair retain length, like not breaking off, keeping your scalp clean, keeping your scalp moisturized, making sure your hair is moisturized, those are things that you can do to retain length where your hair is going to grow anyway. These are just things you do to retain length. And on here, it's two sides. The ingredients are herbal extract, petroleum jelly, peppermint oil, nanolin, and fragrance day. I'm going to be using this on shampoo day and co-wash day. That's it. And I'm not exactly going to be putting it on my hair. I'm going to be putting it in my scalp because the products that I use, I want those to be reflected on my hair. Okay? Uh, God bless, and I'll see you all within 24 to 48 hours. Max. All right. I'm Real McCoy 411. I'm on a natural hair journey. I am documenting my whole journey. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, click the notification bell about two times. It accurately works about two times. That way you won't miss any of my coming up information, product reviews, all that stuff. I'm so sick. I almost made it, y'all. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this grapeseed oil on my hands. I already have a lid on there. Put this on my hand. Y'all, and you guys, if you find this brand, this grapeseed oil, this smells so good. This smells so good. Just like grapes. Mmm. Just like some Kool-Aid. Telling you just like some Kool Aid. Ooh -wee. But what I'm going to do, rub it down my plaits, because that's what these are, y'all know. But if you can look, look at the shine and definition. And this is from using the Lavender Whipped Camille Rose Leave In Conditioner. 
along with my Melanin by Whitney, Nap J85. I just like that. Look at that. And this was just a refresh. This was just a re-moisturize. When I put my hair up tonight, I'm going to try to use. Because I think my hair has grown to a point where I can try and use some bigger uh, plaques. Not too big, not jumbo, but bigger. And you know I already got my lip part over here, so. Oh yeah, I like it. You can tell where I didn't go all the way up to the top, to the root. Where I was when I was braiding it, because the root is kind of loose. Okay, see, because these here are just, these are too little. What was I thinking when I braided these little darn things? trying to show y'all that I'm actually taking it apart other than cutting this bad boy off. <laughs> okay. I did not cut it off. Do I have all my braids up? No, it's probably something I gotta fix up here. You know, I don't like to use utensils that much. Pick it up, pick it, all that. Because I haven't completely learned how to. Everybody gets there in their journey. But I think my hair has enough volume and enough of whatever that I need to keep it kicking right now. Not going to do the Barbie pins. I used to be faithful to those too. I'm in the process of making sure my edges grow. Bark. Bark. But, so, you guys like And this was just a braid out on freshly moisturized hair using my melanin and using my girl Camille Rose, the lavender whipped cream leave-in, which is hard to get out of this thing but hey it does its job and my scalp doesn't look so bad i use the um see i use that virgin fertilizer on that and that won't get put on again until the next time i do a co-wash or a wash so that is the takedown of the braid out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to start, um, I'm just going to start something. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all about it as I go. So, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. There, there's about to be a couple of big changes in my page. And I'm very excited for it. I've got to go ahead with my husband to go ahead and move forward. So, I'm very excited. 
So if you all have any uh, questions, comments, suggestions, anything, leave it in the comment section down below. And I promise I will respond to you because I do have the app on my phone. So I don't miss nothing. All right, God bless y'all. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything.